out like, oh, my superhero wouldn't do that. I'm like, are you serious? <laughs> like, I'm like down the fucking road on that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, and it's a cool point of view. Look, I'm 100% fine with it. There, it's a cool point of view to be like, my heroes are still innocent, you know? My heroes didn't fucking, you know, lie to America. My heroes didn't, you know, embezzle money from their corp. My heroes didn't fucking commit any atrocities. I'm like, that's cool, but you're living in a fucking dream world, okay? Good. Dreams save us. Dreams lift us up and transform us into something better and on my soul. I swear that until my dream of a world where dignity, honor, and justice are the reality we all share, I'll never stop fighting, ever. Well, today, guys, we are talking about Superman Legacy, or more specifically, the actor behind Superman in this movie, David Corn Sweat. Never heard of him before he got casted as Superman. Don't really care. I don't follow actors or actresses or directors and whoever. I don't really care about the movie industry. Never been interested in celebrities. Always been in always been interested in video games instead. And there's a tweet here from comicbook.com that says that's our Superman. And the video is pretty harmless. Let's just give it a quick look. The Force. There were at least three or four times when I was growing up where I would sit quietly and, and then just slowly open my eyes and go. And probably one of those times I half convinced myself that like it shook a little bit or something. The other superpower I would have would be to have John Williams music play wherever I went. Definitely. That's probably worth it. I really get a lot just looking up at the moon. It's the moon! There's a thing way out there that's lit up by the other thing way out there. I love the idea that people just looked up at the moon and were like, probably we can get there, right? And everybody else was just like, I mean, I'm not doing anything. Do you want well, as you can see from that short clip, literally nothing bad. Seems like a nice guy. Seems like a pretty chill guy. Doesn't seem like a narcissist. Doesn't seem like an angry, holly weird, creepy, stalker-like type of personality you see every day in Hollywood. So, what are people mad about? Oh, is this the Snyder fans? Yup, people who continue to defend the most blasphemous portrayal of the character. Henry Cavill was never a good Superman. He is like an emo loser, doesn't know if he want to be a hero, depressed all the time, just looks like he's pissed off all the time. That was not Superman. Why won't these retards realize that? So many character portrayals in that movie were just ridiculous. The whole Zack Snyder trilogy was just ridiculous. You have Batman literally using a gun and shooting up people in like the desert. First of all, like Batman is too afraid to even hold a gun. He's too traumatized even because of what happened to his parents. Second of all, how can even Batman fans defend that shit? Like that's literally the character you think of that will go to extreme measures to stop one of his own villains for being killed. Like Superman as well does not kill people. Why won't these idiots understand that shit? Zod is not that powerful. He's faced way more powerful villains that have left them in worse situations like Metallo or Parasite or Mongo. Him snapping Zod's neck was completely unnecessary. That whole scene doesn't make any sense. He could have covered Zod's eyes. He could have slammed his face into the ground. He could have told the family to run away. Don't just stand there. They were literally just standing there in the corner. They literally could have been ran while he was shooting the lasers. They could have been out the building by now. But they were literally just standing there crying and shit. I would have been out. As soon as I saw the lasers and I saw the, that Superman was holding this dude back, I'm like, why the fuck are we standing here? Yo, let's get the fuck out of here. Let's get in the car. Let's drive as far away from far away as possible. I'm not just standing there crying in the corner. No, 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 I'm running. I'm out. I'm done with that. That shit was completely unnecessary. He fought way more powerful villains, like the ones I mentioned before. These other villains can easily mop Zod. But these Snyder fans keep getting on their fucking knees and keep swallowing and swallowing and guzzling and, and gargling on everything this man has to offer. To the point where they're trashing the new actor for literally not even doing anything. He just seems like a chill guy. I do not understand for the life of me why that man has such a cult-like following. Why are people so obsessed with those movies? I don't understand that sh Especially if you know how all these characters are. Which I don't think most of you guys even know anything about Superman because most people don't read comic books. 
It's just the way it is. Comic books is a niche. Another thing, why are the collectors writing shit? Why are they writing shit? That's something I've been noticing recently. Why are you writing movies if you're clearly a director? Those are two different jobs. It makes no sense to me. Zack Snyder should have never written any movie. Let alone fucking Superman, the most iconic character in all of fiction. You've seen what happens when this dude writes his movies. You've seen Rebel Moon, a ripoff of Star Wars. And it was literally like one of the worst movies of the year when, it, when that shit came out. This man has no writing talent. He might be a good director, I'll give him that much. But he has no writing talent. Directors should not be writing. This dude exposed himself. The only reason he has a fan base is because of DC. Not because he has any writing talent. Not because he made a good story. No, it's because of DC. That's the only reason he has anything in his entire career. Same thing going back with The Watchmen. It's a DC property. So he, this dude has no talent to create his own characters. He only got famous off of piggybacking off of already iconic stories and characters. He has no talent. He's trash. He doesn't know anything about these characters. He's a fraud. He showed you with this Rebel Moon movie. So why are people still on their knees for this man? I don't understand this shit. I don't understand why his movies have such a cult-like following. The only conclusion I can think of is that there's literally nothing else to watch. Like DC has done nothing, nothing compared to Marvel. At least in live action, they always did animated movies better than live action. All the animated movies are better than anything they ever done in live action, for the most part. Maybe not recently with this Tomorrow Voice bullshit, but for the most part, especially a decade ago, animation is better than anything they've ever done in live action. Now people are getting upset in this comment section and it's hilarious. Like this tweet. It says, You're going to speak on behalf of all of us. Let the people decide once the project is released. Then we have the discussion. For now, Henry Cavill is a current favorite Superman. For me at least. One, they never claim to speak on behalf of all DC fans everywhere. And then, second of all, you said let the project come out before having the discussion. But yet you're having the discussion right now. And saying Henry Cavill is a current favorite Superman. Then you said for you at least. Okay, that's fair enough, but you're having a discussion instead of waiting until the project actually comes out. And here's another tweet. What is this discount Henry Cavill wobbling about? This movie is so forced and boring, no one asks for it. It's just those chronically online gun cultists on Twitter. Outside of Twitter, everybody wanted Henry Cavill back. Gun did a huge mistake firing him. Alright, let's break this down. How the hell is anybody a discount of anybody else when they're these two are, these two are their own unique human beings? I don't understand what that means. Plus the movie didn't even come out yet, so you don't even know. So how is the movie forced and born if the movie isn't even out yet? We haven't even gotten a teaser trailer on top of that. How can you determine if, if it's forced or boring? And what do you mean nobody acts for it? You've been asking for a good Superman movie for 90 years. What the fuck are you going on about? This dude is using the term gun cultist. Like, that is clearly a projection. You guys are fucking psycho. You guys are already attacking this man. He didn't even do nothing. You guys are always on your knees for Zack Snyder ready to suck his dick. I don't understand that shit. But now you're claiming gun has cultists? Where? I don't see people... It's obsessing over him and trashing other directors and shit because of James Gunn. I do not see it like Snyder fan. And then he claims outside of Twitter everyone wanted Henry Cavill back. Speak for yourself. I never want that dude back. That whole portrayal of the character is a reason people think Superman is boring. That was blasphemous. Henry Cavill was a mistake. He's the worst Superman of all time. He's trash. Speak for yourself. And how is David Cornsweet a lookalike? They look nothing alike. What is this? What features do they have in common? That's like distinctly alike. I don't see it. I don't see the resemblance. Yeah, I'm done reading comments on this tweet. It's just, this is a non-issue. This is just Snyder fans always ready to suck that dude off. And these people know nothing about Superman. They know nothing about the character. And they will continue sucking Zack Snyder's dick until the end of time. For what reason? They think those movies are good. Was they entitled to think that way? But that shit was trash. And that is not accurate to any of the characters in that trilogy. Let that shit go. Henry Cavill is never coming back. Zack Snyder is never coming back. Get over it. These guys are going to continue to say this shit from now until the end of time. Like a thousand years from now, you'll see people still talking about restore the Snyder voice. Or send the Snyder voice to, to Netflix. Get over it. It's not coming back. And that's a good thing. Those movies suck. 
Get over the shit already. This shit is corny at this point. When you're still begging for that shit, it's pathetic. Henry Cavill's never coming back. Never. Get over it. God damn. Like, it's legitimately just annoying at this point. When you see a good Superman, you probably won't be so upset. You probably still will. Now that I think about it, there are people who always will get on their knees or something. I personally don't understand it. I think it's weird. You have a following, a cultish following for any celebrity in general, let alone for a comic book movie. I think it's weird and creepy and just kind of gay. So just get over it and go find out who your father is. Fuck Zack Snyder and fuck the Snyderverse. That's all I got to say for this video. And that is it for the video today guys thank you for watching follow me on twitter subscribe to my youtube channel like hit the bell notification and thank you for watching have a great day